Pentagram, one of the world's most respected design agencies, recently shared an AI-generated illustration set that they created for the U.S. government. They even shared the prompts they use. That sounds like we could just use those prompts and get the same results, right? But here's the thing. You may think that just copying that text and putting it on the journey and adding an icon uh, name, you will get the same result as them. If you do, you may want to stay in this video and explore with me how can these prompts be applied to get the same results as Pentagram and take it one step further. Hi, I'm Emmanuel Cantons, AI avatar, and in this video we're going to experiment with the prompts shared by Pentagram for the branding projects and illustrations of the US government. Let's take the prompt from this image here and put it on the journey. You can do the same and follow me in the process. Let's take the text and let's replace their placeholder with something you want to use. For example, let's use the US flag. When I ran it, the results were disappointing. The images came back overly complicated and the style didn't match at all. Something was clearly off. So I started tweaking the parameters. I removed USA from the prompt to see it was the issue, but no matter what, the results still weren't right. That's when I realized the problem wasn't just the parameters. It was the style. The illustrations were in line with the look that Pentagram had created. And to fix this, I added a style reference to the prompt. This gave me journey a clear example to follow, helping create images that were consistent with the intended design. After all, the reference, it is a set of illustrations from the brand itself. So with this image, let's set it to style reference to the prompt that it was already shared by Pentagram. And with that, we're going to test different levels to see what is the best approach for the stylization of the prompt. I'm going to use permutations to generate different levels of stylization and to test which is the best one to create an image that is similar to the style of the illustrations created by this company. Now let's try to replicate the results and let's include other icons on the process and see if they look alike the ones that Pentagram generated. And here is how they look. The images generated by me in comparison with the image generated by Pentagram. They have very cohesive style. They look as both of them as a part of the system and it's a very good result. Now that we have secured the full set of parameters and the specific process to create this style, let's take a step further and let's try to make some illustrations in the same style, but with the President of the United States. Why? Because since we're speaking about the US government, they probably will have news to put on their blog and speak about personalities and stuff. Can have more complex looks to represent realistic images like presidents or personalities or even buildings. So that's why I consider that this test, it is important. By the way, if you are enjoying this video and you want to learn more about AI applied to design and businesses, follow me on this channel, subscribe and like this video. And especially let me know in the comments if there's something that you'd like me to talk about regarding this topic. Let's make our first test with the President Barack Obama. I'm going to upload an image of his face and keep the style reference of the icons. And for going quicker and to find out what is the best character weight that it suits this style, I'm going to use the permutations of character weight to put different values and get them all from the initial prompt. And from all these tests, you can see that 
As higher it gets, the value of character weight, the more realistic it is the image, and the lower it gets, the more illustrative, pictorial it gets, that it is closer to the result that we want for this style. So let's select this character weight and let's uh, keep trying with the other images within that rank. I made a second test trying to put the names of other presidents and removing the character reference, but it didn't let me create these images because of their policies. Instead, what I did was to create one by one different images of presidents by uploading a picture of them into my journey as a character reference, same as I did with Obama. And instead of putting the name of the president in the text of the prom, I put an illustration of a United States president, and it was good enough to create the illustrations that were in this style of the US government brand. And for example, here is this image of the President Biden, and I wasn't entirely happy with the results, so what I did was to test multiple style ways to create an image to see what worked best in terms of how much the reference will influence the final results. And this is all for today. Let me know in the comments if you find it useful or if you have any questions about this or any other AI topic that you want me to talk about. Thank you so much. Have a great day.